we're back and guess what this time it's Christmas that's the spine but I didn't do anything to either side <coughs> excuse me but you can actually see oh I've got that upside down that it is an old notebook under a new presents so we're going to take a look at this one now. Those were stickers, just cheap old dollar store, I guess, and a little flip book. And I taped them on there because I didn't want to stick to my paint job. You see, here we go again with a little bit of magnet strip, probably to hold pins, a little notepad. And we start out with this baggie with little patterns in it and some silver cord a little pencil magazine clip art a little design from a magazine something else from probably a card all kinds of magazine snippets in there here we get to the really good stuff. Now, isn't that cute? They did a little pinwheel. Doesn't go, but it's a pin. Uh, pin back. Pin. To wear, you know. So I had that stuck in there. We might take a look at some of these, though. To give you kind of an idea of what I would put in mine. For some reason, hearts got in there. Oh, well, because Christmas is love, you know. Okay. How to do your holiday table. That's just a good idea. They crumpled up some stuff and put in the plastic balls. A cute snowman. Cinnamon candle. See, some of these just came from catalogs. thought, well, I could do that. That's peppermint in there. I see now. And with the leaves. Felt Christmas tree on the bag. Gift bag. Cinnamon candle. But see, these are all the 3x5s. So I can just file them. A nice little tree with some cute little angels with leaves for wings. Pine cone gold. We're going to run out of camera before we run out of book. You know that? We might have to skip some of this. Um, little pattern. Star. Sun. For some strange reason, that. And a tag that was shaped like a cool flower, so I saved it for a pattern. What's that? Oh, a little train case. Another pattern. Just whatever your little hearts desire that will fit in there. These, one year the grocery store had sacks. Brown grocery bags with snowflakes on them. So I cut out some and saved them for patterns and whatever. That one I taped. I guess it was split or something. I'm going to flip through this real quick before the battery dies. Stencil. Um, gingerbread man cut out with hearts. Or women. Oh, look, it's Richard. Richard, I found your drummer picture. <laughs> You're going to get this video in the mail, buddy. You'll love this. A pretty card. Some foil like paper. All kinds of snowflakes that came off those brown bags. Look at that. I love it when they do that. You know? Gives, a, gives you something to... Oh, look. See? These were all in grocery sacks. Isn't that marvelous? Oh, ooh, ooh, I'm really getting something when I did that. Here's a cute little bear pattern. I think it was like a advertisement for a plate or something. 
I thought, oh boy, I've got a pattern now. But I'm just on the lookout all the time for stuff like that. These probably should have been in the Valentine's one. More paper, um, more 3 by 5s tags and ideas, and magazine crafts. I mean, they're just fun to do your own self. Let's see the little bird and bear. Have to look that one up on the internet. Give me a link. Can, uh, candy Maker's Witness. And the bird and bear. I don't know if you'll see that or not. Maybe I can think to look it up. Well, I will when I go over this again. What else I got in here? All kinds of stuff, but the funnest one finding was our drummer Richard. Not our drummer, but my my honey Richard, the drummer. Look. He's amazing. Richard, you're going to love this. Okay, look at more snowflakes. From off of grocery bags. And see, I reinforced them all with tape to make them tough. I didn't have any wide, so of course I used regular. That's why they're shiny. Isn't that fun? So, I'll let you go. This is going to die anyway. Love ya.